I'm gonna After try this again. Ah, oh, God. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. Honestly. I think I'm just gonna... Get myself killed here. I don't have a solution for this guy yet. And I... And I can't just evade everything. That's not a thing that I'm supposed to do. Ugh. You can't... You can't beat me, I have iframes. Okay, I'm gonna try everything. <laughs> ah! I mean, I could possibly Better run for it. win this, but it's gonna be a long Is fight. The end? <clears throat> no, not if I can help it. One thousand seven hundred. It's not a big number. <laughs> Loud. Hey, hey, hey. Do this. Brace yourself. Uh, this is the power be of soldier. Difficult. All right, here comes the big. Oh, five thousand. Oh, because you're weak against that. Obviously. Take that. Ow. Judgment of right. Yeah, look at that. I can I can spend 30 minutes fighting this guy. <clears throat> but uh, I'm not sure if that's a good way to spend time. To be fair. gonna interrupt this guy and whenever he comes back home I got it. yes punch the summon that makes sense prove your honor to me you've got it Bonk. Oh, oh let's go. Mega Flare. Bahamut versus Bahamut. Let's go. Sorry, you meant the little boy. Oh, no, it's it's fine. Don't worry about it. We're gonna make Bahamut hit on Bahamut. I don't even know how that works, but we're gonna make it happen. Physical versus physical. 9,000? Okay. I'm okay with that. That's a good number. Ow. Why did I do that? I can't evade this, so I'll just guard against it. Oh, ow. Wow, they really did a number on this place. The other Turks and I will track their movements. After that, it's all up, it's to, all you. up to you. Yeah, you got it. Better run for it. Is this the end? Anyways, no, his name was taken from it. the name Asteria. Asteria does not have any impact, so they so they change it to S or Y or S. Oh, good to know. I did not know that. Please don't kill me with this. 
Oh, if this exceeds 999 damage, I'm I'm screwed. Surviving. Okay, it's uh, for some reason it's possible. It looks like it's possible. Bringing out the big guns. Did you know that Aerith gains gains Boris is older than Cloud? Yes, I do. Uh, <clears throat> Cloud is born on August uh, 31, 1986. Or well, at least. I'm, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, when was Eric's birthday? But I do know. I am. I am aware that Eric is older. I think because uh, I'm familiar because I think there was a uh, at the time. I'm familiar of ages as. Uh, as a thing with relationships, I think. You see, I was a child back then. <laughs> From the whole Final Fantasy VII series, who is your favorite character? Uh, my favorite is... I, it's always Cloud. I mean, I grew up on, on the original Final Fantasy. So, Cloud has been that. Oh, fuck! Has been that one guy for me. <laughs> I love Zack, but, uh, you know. Cloud is, uh, is the guy that I. I kind of want him. Is like a, the, 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 over. my favorite because of how he Coffee looks like. Uh, the Fenrir outfit that he gets on Advent Children, that is so good. I really like that. And also, uh, the sword that he gets, the first Tsurugi. Or, I forget the name of the actual set of swords. But yeah, I definitely love that. I, I love the design of everything, of Cloud's everything. Is this exit there? Okay. Vincent Valentine for me? Oh yeah. What <laughs> chaos. Let's go. I also played Dirge of Server, don't worry. I am familiar that Vincent Valentine saved the day in the game, in that game. And also we were introduced with uh, to some of the other Avalanche members. Uh, like Nero and Weiss. And if I remember, we also learned a bit about Genesis there. I might not be sure. I might be wrong. Or was it the other way around? I don't know why I'm trying. Zack is Proto Man, Cloud is Mega Man. Him, Vincent is zero. Cisne? Wait, Vincent yeah, doesn't I'm even do problems. melee. If only the Turks were helping me look. Not together. We should look separately. Better run for it. Lucky Stars is gonna exactly. elevate my limit my DMW yeah, gauge, oh, so this is now. good. <clears throat> I can keep casting more and more stuff. Which is really great. More chances of winning.
Bim, 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 bim. Hmm. Oh my god, I got hit still. I'm sorry. I need more. Please summon more. Nice. Don't kill me. How much is PS4? PS5, PS4 games there in the Philippines? And got it from Data Blitz. I did get it from Data Blitz. Uh, PS5? Oh, PS5, PS4 games. Oh, it's the usual. Well, obviously it depends, but it's in line from the usual that I'm familiar with. Uh, which is... For AAA games, usually it would cost somewhere 2700 or 3000 uh, This game particularly is I'll on Steam, so it's 27 Make sure you take them out. Yeah, you got it. It's a bit... The, the price, I think, it's a bit higher, obviously. But if you purchase digitally, you will uh, pay more compared to a physical copy. Usually, the physical copies cost less, despite actually having physical things to do. What are you doing? They called for. I don't know how that works. Sorry. Digital costs more, even though you don't really own anything for some reason. Now. Is this the end? No, not if I can help it. And this game is on the PC. I got it from Steam. Uh, they released this game on Steam at the same time. <clears throat> uh, with the PS5 release. Oh, but you have wall. Be bad. We can't digital costs more, and you prefer digital or physical? I prefer digital usually. I'll draw their attention. Uh, mainly the reason why I like uh, digital is that you can play the game immediately. As for physical copies, you need to go to the store, you need to line up, and that is not good.
hate how you can't evade Slayer. I mean, I think blow. you could. Now, do it. But one blow. All right. It's easier to block demo. things. Fine. Let's do this. Yes. I prefer physical. I need something that tangible, and also, now, if I finish your board again. with the game, I can resell it. But I don't intend to resell any of my games. Uh, I have a friend that also thinks the, that way too. Uh, selling things. <clears throat> the thing is, if you break your copy or your physical copy, you're doomed. Kind of. Bringing out the big guns. Concentrate. I'm feeling it. But yeah, I I understand the collection part. I got the Prime 1 Final Fantasy VII Remake with the Steelbook, Cloud Strife action figure, the and the motorcycle. The nice. Shines bright. Wait, it's actually dark here? I think the my model is not moving anymore because it's super dark. Wait. Also, excellent. I unfortunately don't have a shelf yet <laughs> to put action figures. And even then, I I have cats. I have lots of cats. And pets don't usually translate to a place where you can collect things. Uh, usually, they the, the cats would either play with them, make them fall, or even eat them. Scenic hot twins not too hot. Three, a tourist attraction for all to enjoy. <sighs> I want to buy a Wu Tai like that. Out of each Shinra and get their cash. Then I'll use it to restore Wu Tai. <laughs> Glad you're all right. You know, you are kind of impressive. You just noticing now? Yes. So how does an impressive girl like you come by my mail address? Also, how do you know about the treasures and all these dangerous hotspots? Wanna know the truth? Oh yes. It was a blonde guy. Blonde guy? Right after the war ended, there was this blonde guy who came to see my dad. It was him that left all these soldier mail addresses and the information about the treasures. Blonde guy? Who's this blonde guy? Soldier mail addresses. But my dad didn't pay any mind to the addresses or the treasure info. Blonde guy? This game was so fun when I played on PSP. And about the cats, I have two cats. <clears throat> I learned them where and what are theirs. You taught them. I don't want to mess up my Switch games on the shelf, especially my special edition boxes. <clears throat> nice. I have... So, I have a cat sanctuary here. So, it's uh, I have 13 cats. And... <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> the personality of the cats come and go. I, we, the cats get adopted, you know, uh, and then 
cats generally come and go here and uh, I'm not I'm also not good at teaching cats to, that they're not supposed to be on on shelves they they manage to get on a shelf and then they push everything on that shelf off that shelf so it just falls but yeah good for you that you're able to teach your cats I don't know how to make them do that uh yeah <laughs> so that's why i decide to spam all the soldier addresses but you're the only one i caught yeah I... hey i told you that's not what happened i wasn't tricked into anything so the blonde guy did you get a name or anything well why don't you check your mail i just sent you one to say thank you for dealing with that monster mail yeah just take your phone out of your pocket and this is the yuffie trick when you're trying to acquire yuffie and then i think she tells you to put to open up your your uh phs or yeah your phs menu or access the save point and then when you do yuffie disappears hey what gives i don't think so kid that didn't even manage to fool me once. So shame on you. <laughs> Treasure quest failed. <laughs> failed. <laughs> I also have not played Intergrade or Intermission. I don't know what the I don't know what the the term for Yuffie's thing is. Uh, I do plan to play it on on stream. But I'm, I'm trying to find a good capture card. And I don't have the money for an Elgato for now. Even though... Even though... We just got uh, through Christmas. I would like to get that, by the way. I would still love to get the, oh, the no. thing. What was I thinking? Getting all worked up dealing with a kid. Man. But still, who is this blonde guy giving out soldier addresses? When they climb onto something you don't want to what the, what number they are, make a hard clap when they do. Repeat it again if they still persist. Oh, my way of teaching uh cats that I don't want them doing a thing is I actually replicate their sounds when they're mad. So the high pitched angry sound and then i also use a uh like a like a finger to like bop them on their nose but not too hard because you know that that'd be hurting cats at that point but uh yeah i i, I scare them into thinking that i don't want them there and they oh yeah now that you pointed out i could do that Ah, so far it hasn't happened yet. Uh, it hasn't happened that they did not follow my orders. I think the clap is basically telling them no. Hmm, that could work. Uh. It depends. I have, I think I have some cats <clears throat> that doesn't care about your loud noises, but they understand the cry of a, the angry cry of, uh, the angry cry of a cat. But loud noises, I just, I literally, we just went through New Year, and yung caldero, the the the, the pots that I was clanging on, they don't really care about it. They're not there for anything, but they're just curious as what you're trying to do. Or at least that's what happened for me. Maybe a cl I'll try clapping, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. I am 40% sure it's not going to work. I mean, I'm 40% sure. I'm only 40% sure that it is going to work. Uh, We'll see though. I'll try. I'll definitely try. Who could it be? 
The plot thickens. <laughs>